Fisher Price presents. Come along with me. I'll show you things that'll make you flip. We're traveling by TV on terrific trips. The world is full of special places to explore. And there's so much to see. Come along. Good to see you again. But first, I have to check the burner. It's a loud noise. Are you ready? All set. We're ready to go. Now, first off, you have to help me tip the basket over. On its side, here we go. Now, you grab that rope, bring it up, and we'll attach these wires. Now I'm going to need you to help me pull the balloon out of the bag. Are you ready? Come on. Now there's a handle for you here and a handle for me here. On the count of three, we're gonna take it out. One, two, three. <laughs> What we need to do is spread out the balloon. So you take that side, and I'm going to take this side, and we're going to stretch the balloon open. Ready?
we have to do is we have to fill the balloon with air. Ready? To be lifted up from off the ground And float into the sky It's perfect flying weather So climb aboard and soon We'll float away together In my hot air balloon So up we go, sailing through the sky
What we're going to do, Yo-Yo, is let it cool down just enough so we can touch the top of the trees. Look. through. Don't be scared. Here we go. There you go. Did you get one? Look, you got a leaf for me. Thank you. Yo-Yo, you see how you can't see that balloon up there? We don't want to get caught in those clouds, do we? No. So now we're going to look for a place to land. Good job, partner. Oh, Yo-Yo, you gotta go. That was a super time. Maybe we'll do it again. Okay. Uh -huh. Thanks, Yo-Yo. And listen, you know where to find me. Look up. See you later. Bye-bye. So long. Trip there too and ride the fire engine. 
Or we can go to the zoo and see all the animals. Yay! Holy yes. cow! Look at that gorilla. I think we should take a trip to the post office and see how letters get delivered. I know, let's go to the magic show. I wish I could do that. Me too. Hey, listen guys, I have the best idea. What? Let's all take a trip to the aquarium. Oh. Welcome everyone to the aquarium. Home to all the amazing creatures who spend their entire lives completely surrounded by water. Won't you enter this very special world with me? Hello, my name is Barry, and I'm a blowfish. And I want you to meet some of my friends. Hello, I'm Letitia. Come with me and meet all the other colorful creatures. Louie, wait for me. But hey, me. I'm following you. That little purple guy's got to be here somewhere. He was just here. peek a -boo. Hi, look at me. My name is Alphonse. I have three different designs. My name's Slim, because when I turn sideways, you can hardly see me. My name is Gilda. My colors make me glow. My colors are bright, too, but I'm very shy. My jaw might be oversized, but my colors are quite lovely. Catch me if you can. An aquarium is a place where fish like me live. And people like you come to visit us. Sharks and turtles and corals and lobsters. We all live here together at the aquarium. The dolphins who live here even have their own show. And you are all invited to see it. But first, I would like you to meet the star of the show, Sandy and his trainer, Lee Ann. Hi, my name's Lee Ann Leveroni. I'm a trainer here at the New England Aquarium, and I'd like to introduce you to a very special friend of mine, Sandy. Hi there, Sandy. Before we begin the show, I'd like to point out a few things. As a dolphin, he's a small whale. That means he's a mammal. He also breathes air above the surface of the water through an opening right here in the head. There it is, called his blowhole. That's where a lot of Sandy's sounds come from. He makes no sound from the mouth at all, though sometimes it appears that way. Well, Sandy's extremely exuberant. He's a young male. He's not mature, and he won't be until he's about 14 years old. He's seven now. How about saying hello to everybody? So you can see he has a broad variety of sounds that he can make. Dolphins are very playful and very creative animals. One of Sandy's very favorite things in the whole wide world is to have his tongue scratched. Yes, I think so. Yeah, that's lots of fun. Can you see your teeth? Look at all of them. There's 80 of them there. They're all the same size. He does not chew with those teeth. They're used strictly for grasping. And now, we're ready for the show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dolphin Show. Don't get wet. Thank you, Dixie. Those spins were fantastic. How about starting off with a nice big hello for our guests? That's lovely. Thank you, you three. Right now, I'm going to have the dolphins do behaviors called a tail walk. Dixie weighs a whopping 522 pounds. <laughs> All right. Up you come. Terrific. Many people wonder what dolphins feel like. A lot of folks expect them to be slimy or scaly because they're creatures of the sea. This isn't the case. Sandy's skin is very smooth and firm. He feels very much like a wet inner tube or perhaps something as attractive as a hard-boiled egg. Great 
show. Next, I'd like to introduce our aquarium cowboys, the seahorses. Well, howdy, partners. It's the seahorse rodeo. Here's a neat trick. I'll lasso this branch with my tail. A real horse couldn't do that. We just love to swim around our underwater corral. See my head fins? They spin to make me gallop. See you later, partners. <laughs> I wish I could put on a show like that. You know, the seahorses aren't the only fish who love to perform. Hello, I'm Lily, the lobster. I love to dance because I have so many legs. I am unusual. Unlike most lobsters, I have no claws. Claws are not graceful. Now I shall dance to the Lobster Lake Ballet. That doesn't sound like Lobster Lake to me. It's not. It's the Crab Boogie. Won't you dance with me, Lily? I prefer ballet to rock music. Oh, Lily, baby, you don't know what you're missing? It does have a good beat, and you can dance to it. Yes! I love it! We are the Sunfish. See how long our noses are? Since we have such long noses, let's put on a playing about Pinocchio. Oh, yeah. That's the story about a boy with a long nose. My gosh. I want to be Pinocchio. I have the longest nose. No, I do. No, I do. What about me? Well, while they decide, I'm getting kind of hungry. And guess what? It's feeding time. And here comes the trumpet fish, sounding the lunch call. Lunch! Hurry up, everyone. Let's uh, not forget I'm our so man. How about my I'm menu? Sure. I, I, I want to be first in line. Wait for me, Marvin. We're hungry. I wonder where our waiters are. Getting into their gear, dear. Our appetizer today is tiny shrimp called zooplankton. Here comes the ray. His mouth is underneath his body. And when he swims, he looks like he's flying. This is the eel. His skin feels slippery like a wet bathtub. And he loves to get a tummy rub. Myrtle the turtle. She's having lettuce today with no dressing. Seymour the shark has a mouth like a vacuum cleaner. Lunch is one of our favorite times here at the aquarium. Mmm, delicious! And
And now, folks, it's time for our underwater fashion show. Linda, would you tell us all about the newest styles? Sir, I'm Linda the Lionfish. In my bathing suit, aren't my fins fashionable and perfect for swimming? You know, Barry, fish have fins instead of legs. They also have gills instead of lungs to help them breathe underwater. Whether I go to the beach or just stay right here in my tank, I am all ready to swim up a storm, Barry. Thank you, Linda. What a great show you guys put on today. I think we should give ourselves a round of applause. Oh, yeah. Is the show all over, Barry? No, we don't want it to be over yet. Oh. But there is more to show everyone. Let's take one more trip around the aquarium and see what it's really like to live in an underwater world. Deep beneath the ocean waves, there's a magic world to explore. It's so beautiful in so many ways, you're gonna love it for sure. There's a million different kinds of fish Each a different color, shape and size Magenta, green and even neon fish You won't believe your eyes Underwater world It's a place full of beauty and wonders Like you've never seen Underwater world Full of fantastic shapes and colors Ooh, it's like a dream You'll see creatures tiny as can be and others that are not so small Some that swim by so gracefully And some that don't move at all Underwater world, it's a place full of beauty and wonders Like you've never seen Underwater world, full of fantastic shapes and colors Ooh, it's like a dream You'll see a creature with big jaws and strange eyes too and one with an outrageous snout Some you'd like to take home with you And some you could live without Underwater world It's a place full of beauty and wonders Like you've never seen Underwater world Full of fantastic shapes and colors Ooh, it's like a dream Underwater world It's a place full of beauty and wonders Like you've never seen Underwater world Full of fantastic shapes and colors Ooh, it's like a dream You can bet you sure get wet Living in an underwater world But we're fish And we just love the water Please come back and visit us at the aquarium soon We love to look out from our tanks and watch people Why, people are almost as interesting as fish for all of us here at the aquarium, this is Barry the Blowfish saying so long! Underwater world, it's a place full of beauty and wonders Like you've never seen Underwater world, full of fantastic shapes and colors Ooh, it's like a dream! Terrific Trips is brought to you by Fisher Price. Fisher Price presents. Come along with me. I'll show you things that'll make you flip. We're traveling by TV on Terrific.
Welcome to the Metro Zoo in Miami, Florida. I'm Rick Barangi, and this is Lady the Giraffe. Giraffe are the tallest animals in the world. As you can see, Lady is really enjoying the leaves we're feeding her. Giraffes are really beautiful animals because of the beautiful brown and white pattern that they have on their whole body. And they have long, graceful necks and long legs. And look at that tongue. It's over a foot in length, and it's used to pull the leaves off the branches. There are lots of other animals here at the zoo, so let's take a look. These are black and white ruffed lemurs. Lemurs are a type of monkey that are only found in a very far off island off the coast of Africa. As you can see, the lemurs love to jump on Rochelle. These are European brown bears. Don't they look just like teddy bears? That fur sure is heavy and warm. You wouldn't believe it, but these are still babies, only a year and a half old. You know what? If we hurry, we can see Sheena the elephant have her bath and get really pampered. Sheena is a female elephant. Elephants are the largest animals that walk on land. Sheena loves to be brushed and hosed down every day. It keeps her skin nice and healthy. One of the things that Sheena likes the best is to have her nails filed. It doesn't hurt, and it makes her nails nice and clean. Steady. Bill is putting some oil on her skin right now, which keeps it nice and soft. I'll bet you didn't know that elephants had hair on the end of their tails. Good too. A final touch with her hair, and she's all done. Oh, Shane, you look beautiful. Happy, get him up. Get him up. 
Look, you look so pretty. You look so pretty, Stan. Oh, you look so good, Stan. All right, what a good elephant. This is our gorilla family here at Metro Zoo. Look at Jimmy, he's a giant. He weighs 405 pounds. Jimmy's opening his mouth to get the keeper to throw him peanuts. Baby, Moja, is two and a half years old, and he's just now beginning to play with his older brother, JJ. This is Lucknow, our male white Bengal tiger. Lucknow weighs about 400 pounds. Tigers are the largest of all the members of the cat family. They're even larger than lions. Lucknow really loves to go in the water. He enjoys swimming, it cools him down, and it's good exercise for him. These are our zebras. They look just like horses, except that they have black and white stripes. No two zebras have the same pattern of stripes. These are orangutans. This is the daddy of the group, and he's greeting his females right now. He's a little excited because we're here. This is what they normally do in the wild. They, they take a branch and they throw it, and it's just showing you that he is the boss out here. And, if we listen to him, everything will be just fine. <laughs> this is Cora and her calf, Maku. They're black rhinos found in Africa. This is Martha, Cora's keeper. And right now, Martha is giving Cora a treat, her favorite food, which is carrots. Cora is a black rhinoceros. In the wild, they live in Africa. They get to be about 2,500 pounds when they're adults. The top lip here is called a prehensile lip. It allows them to take branches from trees and tear them down so that they can eat them. Cora likes apples and carrots. She doesn't eat meat. They eat uh, trees and grass. Her face is like soft leather. When they're born, they don't have any horns, but the horns start to develop after they're about a month old. The adult rhinos use their horns to protect their babies and also to fight with each other. Malaka is a dromedary camel from the deserts of North Africa. Camels have humps on their backs, 
where their bodies store energy for long trips through the desert. Here's Malaka's baby, Sheik. Sheik is only two months old and looks just like his mom. Sheik will stay with his mother until he is about one year old. Camels like to chew their food for a long time. Here's Karina still chewing her lunch. Look at those big teeth. We just had a really wonderful birth here at the zoo yesterday. Our pygmy hippo had a newborn baby. The mother's name is Gertrude, and her newborn baby is called Bubbles. Look at Mom opening her mouth very wide. This is a threatening gesture telling us that she's protecting her baby. You can see how tiny she is. She only weighs eight pounds at birth, while the mother weighs over 400 pounds. This is a Malayan sun bear cub born just two weeks ago here at the Metro Zoo. And this is its keeper, Alice, who takes care of the bear. Alice, how much did this bear weigh when it was born? Good, about eight ounces or half a pound. And how big will they be when they grow up? They're about uh, close to 150 pounds. Looks like he's about to get lunch. Would you like to feed him? Sure. It's pretty hungry. Boy, he really loves that milk, doesn't he? Let me give him a little bit of a rest here, huh? Did we burp him? Burp the baby, yep. <laughs> Have we named him yet? Yep, we've named him Runt. He was the runt of twins born, the smallest of the two. Look at those large claws. When he gets older, those would be very useful in climbing trees. You can see even now, as a little youngster, how sharp they are. Why do we call them a sun bear? We call them a sun bear because of the crest on their chest right under their neck. When he's full grown and he has a lot of fur, will we still see that crest? Yes, it's there all through adulthood. Look at that fat little tummy. Thanks a lot, Alice. This has really been great. Every animal face is special, each one different. Yes, sir. -y. Some are hairy, some are scary, some are very extraordinary. Some of my best friends are animals. I love them, yes, I do. Come and meet my friends, the animals. They'll be your friends.
If you enjoyed your trip here to the Miami Metro Zoo, come back again soon. Bye. trips too. Really? Even in a hot air balloon? Right. Or how about a trip to the aquarium? Fish are neat. Look, the diver is feeding them. Hey, how about a trip to this? Great birthday present you sent me. I miss you. And Mommy and Daddy miss you, too. We'll see you next month when we come to visit. Love, get folded. Oh, I just fit into the envelope. Now, close me up tight. That's right. I can't go anywhere without an address. And don't forget my zip code. Wait a minute. What's that? Oh, it's a smiling sunshine. I like that. And now, one of my most important parts. <laughs> it's a stamp. I'm finally a real letter, ready to go to the mailbox. been on a bike before. This is a bumpy ride. Check the schedule. Oh boy, here I go. Ooh. It's dark in here. Hi, everybody. Where are you going? Going to Cincinnati. I'm going to the West Coast. I'm going to Alabama. Yeah, well, I'm going to Florida. Good morning, Tommy. How are you? Okay. I hope the letter carrier gets here soon. It's pretty crowded in here. Did you mail a letter? Yep. Is it a birthday card? No, it's to my grandmother to thank her for my birthday present. Well, there it is. Oh, she'll be glad to hear from you. Yep. Oh, that's a lot of 
lot of mail. Yeah, a lot of mail today. Where's it all going? Well, it goes to the main post office, and then it gets distributed all over the country. at my zip code. They press the right keys, and then... Whoop! There I go, right into the slot marked Massachusetts. That's where I'm going, Massachusetts. When I get here, I have to be sorted all over again. Would you believe it? Everyone's house has its very own slot at the post office. Now, we get loaded up on the mail truck for our very last ride. Uh-oh, it's raining here in Massachusetts. Now, all 
of us letters get delivered to the people who are waiting for us. The letter carrier has lots of houses to go to. I hope my stop is soon. Delivered to Grandma. Will she be glad to see me? It's so nice to be a letter. Everyone is always so glad to see you. Hi, Neil. Good morning, Mrs. Keller. Anything special? Sure, I have one here for Garden City. For my grandson. I hope he's coming to visit soon. That sure would be nice. You have a friend you like a lot Who lives very far away You sat down and wrote him a letter And put it in the mail today Now it's at the post office, post office The busiest place you'll ever see The people at the post office, post office Get your letter to its destination One, two, three Arrive here every day We sort them very carefully And send them all away the Post office, the post office The busiest place that you'll ever see The people at the post office, post office Get your letter to its destination One, two, three to give us their milk. One thing about cows, they sure do like to take their time. Then, guess what happens next? Breakfast. Cows eat breakfast just like we do, but they don't eat the same things people do. Our cows get hay and grain and chopped corn. Mm. 
and they eat it up. It's milking time! Okay, here's how you milk a cow. First, you have to hook up the milk line. Then, you put the milking machine on the cow's udder. The machine is like a vacuum cleaner. It sucks the milk out of the cow's udder. See the milk pumping into the milk line? Mom and Chrissy feed Max his milk. He drinks it from a pail with a nipple on it. It works like a baby bottle. Max loves his milk, and he drinks every drop. Good boy. <laughs> Guess who else wants some milk? Dad milks a little by hand for our kitten, Marshmallow. It's her favorite breakfast. And for a little cat, boy, does she have a big appetite. The rooster crows, let's rise and shine. No time to dawdle, it's milking time. You gotta wake up early when you're living on the farm. The milk we drink comes from the cows. First, you gotta get it out of the cow somehow. We gotta go milk them now on the farm. On the farm, oh, on the farm. You gotta milk the cows when you're living on the farm. Oh boy, here comes the milk truck. It comes right into our yard and backs up to the barn. The man measures how much milk is in the tank. Wow! We got a lot today. He writes it down. Then he takes a big hose off the truck and hooks it up to the tank. There goes our milk. It's draining out of the milk tank right into the truck. We're all done. All right, see you later, Steve. Bye. Now the truck is going to the dairy. They put the milk in cartons and send it to the store. Maybe you'll even drink some. I love riding the tractor with Dad. Today we have to cut the hay so we can feed it to the cows. Someday when I get bigger, Dad says I can drive the tractor. I can't wait. It's 
a big machine that scoops up the hay. It presses the hay into blocks called bales. Whoop! There goes a bale of hay into the wagon. Watch out! Here comes another one. <laughs> best part about baling hay. We get a hay ride all the way back to the barn. Now it's time to use our muscles. All this hay has to go right in the barn. Dad pulls the wagon up the hill and right through the doors. Our barn is so big that the whole thing can fit inside. Okay, we'll get this hay unloaded here. We'll get this down, Matt can jump up on top. Okay. Right. You want to stay here and I'll stack? I'll stack. Okay, come on, Matt. Our cows are really going to love this good hay. Wait till I get this first layer up before okay. you. Come here. The hay's been growing since early spring, and now it's ready for baling. So we can store the hay away in the barn, on the farm. Cows eat the hay and grow big and strong, so we'll make lots of milk for very long. Come on, today's the day we bale the hay on the farm. On the farm, oh, on the farm. You gotta bale the hay when you're living on the farm. <laughs> that was fun. chickens and ducks. They eat the dried corn we grow. They don't even chew it. They just swallow it whole. Chickens don't know it, but while they're eating, Chrissy and Mom collect their eggs for our breakfast tomorrow morning. Can you guess who this is? They have the worst manners on the whole farm. And they love to eat. But the best thing about pigs is they make you laugh. doing everything else, they were busy making more milk. Come on, get up in there. Come on. We sure do love working on our dairy farm. Seven days a week. 
rooster crows, let's rise and shine. No time to dawdle, it's milking time. You gotta wake up early when you're living on the farm. The milk we drink comes from the cows, but you gotta get it out of the cows somehow. We gotta go milk them now on the farm. On the farm, oh, on the farm. You gotta milk the cows when you're living on the farm. The hay's been growing since early spring, and now it's ready for baling. So we can store the hay away in the barn, on the farm. Cows eat the hay and grow big and strong, so they'll make lots of milk for very long. Come on, today's the day we bail the hay on the farm. On the farm, oh, on the farm. You gotta bail the hay when you're living on the farm. Corn's in the field growing straight and tall When it gets ripe, we're gonna pick it all To feed the animals living on the farm We'll give them food and they'll give them <laughs> Hey, isn't that the same out? Give us food too There'll be eggs, milk and butter for me and you And that's why we grow the corn on the farm On the farm Why we grow the corn on the farm We're all tuckered out when the evening comes Just one more milk and then our work is done We work hard but it sure is fun living on the farm On the farm, oh on the farm We work hard but it sure is fun living on the farm Terrific trip. And guess what? Let's all take a trip to the amusement park. Gentlemen and welcome to the great Six Flags Air Racer. On your flight this afternoon, you'll be cruising at an altitude of 100 feet at the blistering speed of 35 miles an hour. Your flight this afternoon will be round trip. Around and around and around.
another gasp. something to eat. Oh, boy! Nachos! Mmm! Pizza! That's my favorite! Popcorn, too! I want a hot dog! And cotton candy! This is great. Let's get dressed up and have our pictures taken.
rod that goes upside down. Whoa! Oh, boy! I'm scared! Whoa! special kind of dog, a Dalmatian. I'm just on my way to work. Hmm, one of my favorite stops. <laughs> I like to make sure these fire hydrants are in good shape. This one looks okay. It's part of my job. Can you guess where I work? Yeah. The firehouse. I'm a 
must be early. The guys haven't opened up yet. Jackie, how you doing? Look, Mark, it's Jackie. Hey, Jackie, come on, you're just on time to help us wash the trucks. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, boy, I love to wash the trucks. First, we have to pull them out of the garage. Cap, you want to check the lights and siren? Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that first. It's important to make sure that all the flashing red lights are working. And the siren has to be tested, too. Oxygen masks help the firefighters breathe in smoky buildings. So they get checked every time we wash the trucks. We even have spare nozzles for the hoses. When you're a firefighter, there's so much work to do. You take good care of your equipment, cause lives depend on you. This is my favorite part. We're going to test the hose. Open the valve, fellas. Here we go. to keep them clean and ready for any emergency. Use a little elbow grease, fellas. Yeah, that's the idea. When you're a firefighter, when you're a firefighter, when you're a firefighter, life depends on you. Life depends on you. This is the dispatch room, the nerve center of the whole fire department. 911 emergency. When someone okay. has a fire or any other problem, this is where they call to get help. Not only police officer Moran. I always like to stop in and say hello. Hi, Jackie. How you doing? Excuse me. Joanne, the dispatcher, is in charge. I love to watch Joanne at work. She gets to use all the dispatch room equipment, like the radios. You receive that box loud and clear. And the computer. Things look pretty busy here. Guess I'll go upstairs and be on standby. We all play checkers, but some of us are better than others. Hmm, not one of my better days. Try this. Got you, Jackie. Uh-oh, now I'm really in trouble. 911 emergency. There's a fire where? What street? What kind of fire do you have? All right, you have a leaf fired on Rutgers and Whitford. Okay, we'll have them come right over. Bye.
everybody hurries to put on their fireproof hats, coats, and boots. You have to be safely dressed if you're going to fight a fire. Everybody has a spot on the fire engine. Open the door, and we're off. scene of a fire. Each firefighter has a special job. Everybody moves fast to put the leaf fire out as quickly and as safely as possible. Some of the crew unroll the hose and pull it up to the fire. Then the fire hydrant is hooked up so the water can get to the pumper engine. Open the valves. There goes the water pressure. Now it's time to open the nozzles and put out those burning leaves. I sure am proud to be a part of this team. Looks like we put it out, safe and sound. Uh-oh, someone else in trouble. Look over there, Mark. What is a cat in the tree? Thank you. 